Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things crypto-related, unknown, paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and welcome back to... Well, actually, no, welcome to our very first Mythical Menagerie. I am very, very, very excited to be doing this episode with you today, guys. Um, this is going to be taking the place of Cryptic Cage Match, and this time I will be talking about every Sunday, well, at least until October. October, I will switch it to Ghosts, but that will just be for the month of October. Every Sunday... We will be talking about a different mythical creature from mythologies from all over the world. So I'm very, very excited to be sharing this with you guys today. And I hope you guys enjoy the music in the background. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. It is copyright-free, royalty-free music. Um, and I'll put the link to that in the description below as well. So today, for our very, very first ever Mythical Menagerie, guys, we are going to be talking about a very, very cool creature that you guys all may be familiar with. That would be the Chimera. Now, the Chimera is a very, very cool creature, guys. So, it has the head of a lion. Sometimes it has the head of a goat on the back, but sometimes it's also on the front with a lion as well. It is also depicted either with the head of a dragon or a tail with the head of a snake on the end. And you, sometimes it has wings, sometimes it doesn't. But it always has the front feet of a lion and the back feet of a goat. Now, in Greek mythology, the Chimera was the offspring of Typhon and Echidna. Not the little, not Echidna, the little tiny, like, little porcupine monotremes found in Australia. Echidna is the mother of monsters in Greek mythology. And it, sh and it has siblings such as the Hydra, um, the Nemean Lion, um, Cerberus, Orthrus, the Sphinx. So Echidna gave birth to all of these creatures, including the Chimera which is really, really cool. Um, now, the Chimera, it was known to breathe fire. That was like its main thing. Like, it could breathe fire. And it was eventually killed by the Greek hero, um, Bellerphon. I believe that is what his name is. His name's hard to pronounce. Um, Bellerophon, actually. My apologies, Bellerophon. So, Bellerophon, he was riding Pegasus when he killed the Chimera. Um, he shot a lead arrow right into its mouth when it was breathing fire, and when it breathed the fire, the lead melted in its throat, and it choked on the lead and died. And Bellerophon, he was one of the best-known monster hunters in all of Greek mythology, um, alongside Perseus and a couple others. So he is a really... He was really, really good at slaying monsters. And as we know, Perseus killed Medusa and all that, but um, Bellerophon killed the Chimera. Now, the Chimera, now there are actually real Chimeras in real life. Um, not, not like this one right here. They are usually when somebody shares, like, chromosomes with somebody, with, like, something else. Um, so... People who get blood transfusions, they have other DNA inside of them that technically makes them a chimera. Um, so, but with someone else's DNA and your DNA in there, two DNAs that normally would not go together, um, or would be relatively in the same area, that is a genetic chimera. They do exist. But the chimera in Greek mythology was much, much different. It sort of looks like a mismatched taxidermy, but... It, but it was a really cool creature, and it struck fear in the hearts of a lot of um, the people in Greece at the time, until Bellerophon killed it. So, that is pretty much the history of the Chimera. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our very, very, very first ever Mythical Menagerie. And if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I heard if you dislike this video... Um, the Chimera will... What will the Chimera do to you guys? I... You know, I don't know. Just I just want feedback from you guys. That's all I really want. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like it. You can dislike it if you dislike it. Um, comment below what other creatures you would like to see on Mythical Menagerie. Um, yeah, um, tomorrow will be another CryptoCast footage review, so get ready for that. And I really appreciate you guys giving me feedback, saying you wanted to see something like this on the show. It's fun to do. Very, very excited to be doing this with you guys today. Um, so, 
until next time, guys, until, well, tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow, really, with my CryptoCast Twitch review. So until then, guys, you have been watching CryptoCast's first ever, uh, first ever Mythical Menagerie. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I'll see you guys in the next um, Mythical Menagerie, then. I'll see you guys. Bye, guys.